Hello, my name is Sonia Kelly and I am the writer of the play Once Upon a Bridge produced by Druid Theatre Company. Well, I am an Irish playwright uh, based in Dublin and I have been working in theatre since I left university at the age of 22 and um, I was an actor for a very long time and I've been a playwright for about 15 years and I've been working with Druid Theatre Company over the last five years. Day-to-day -day work of a playwright, you show up, you do it, you come away with nothing or you come away with something and you have faith in the fact that something will show up eventually but you really do have to kind of try and write every day and it's like going to the gym or practicing scales you've got to practice putting your thoughts into words and I most definitely try to do that every day. Trust your vision, maybe, is a good one because you have to believe in it uh, enough to get it out of your head and into the world and it's very easy to tell yourself, oh, that's not really anything. So you really have to trust it. Having an idea and then seeing that idea come to life. I love seeing an actor running lines in the corner of a rehearsal room and thinking that was just some random thought that ran through my head three years ago and now it's a real thing that people talk about. And there's a great sense of power in that and all the stories you watch on TV or see in the theatre, somebody just had a whisker of a thought and it's, now it's a thing that's there forever. And that's, I think that's one of the things I love the most. I was mesmerised and horrified by it and I was quite um, intrigued by the public's desire for closure and justice and answers um, and uh, it sparked such a huge moral um, debate, public moral debate and then it just petered away because there was never any closure and my writing the play is I suppose a desire for closure. The play was inspired by a real event. It, it did change it because I didn't know how to, well I didn't know how to begin it because there was so much, there was so little information. So historical fiction was my way in structurally by imagining what could have happened as opposed to just piecing together the little things that were there. And I did see, feel a sense of duty of care to certainly the woman in it and also to the bus driver that what I did put in was real and I was very clear about what was imagined. The restrictions at the time that the play went out, this was supposed to be originally a play for a reduced capacity audience, 15 people a show, and that had to change, so it went to a live stream, and so we had to learn very quickly what we were able to do on camera that we weren't able to do in theatre, and it was, it was a huge learning curve. But the result was amazing, I think about 14,000 people saw it, and um, that would never have happened if it was um, if it was just in the theatre. Yeah, I think there's themes around identity. I think it's hugely prescient for young audiences around gender, race, class, ethnicity. They're all bubbling in that play. And I also think everybody's having a little bit of a think about how we treat each other in wake of the pandemic but also in wake of uh, the horrific and very very sad um, acts of violence towards women that have uh, like too, all too often in the news and I think young people are talking about that at the moment and I think this play does check into that. I hope people enjoy it, I hope they get swept up in the story and I hope they have a think and um, I think it's, there's a certain amount of moral exercising to do in the play and, and to just to have, a, to have a think, really. And I think all theatre should do that. It, makes you, it should make you laugh, make you cry, make you think.